All right, thanks, Dan. Well, that rainy El Nino winter has brought heavy rain and flooding, but it's also helped out our drought crisis. But tonight, a new drought update is out. So how has the drought improved? That's a good question for Storm Track 15 meteorologist Michael Crowley. Our winter has been a deluge of heavy rain and storms, once again, thanks to El Nino. Our forecast for a wet winter has definitely paid off, and now we are reaping the benefits. So let's check up on how the drought's actually doing. Has the drought situation improved at all? That's a good question. The record-setting drought did a number on our crawfish and sugarcane crops, but things are finally looking up. Our days of exceptional drought from November are far behind us. Since November of last year, we've been slowly chipping away at the drought. In fact, we're actually well above average on rainfall as of this year. And we have some fantastic news. Take a look at the newest drought monitor. All extreme cases of drought are now gone. New Iberia, Franklin, and Morgan City are now completely out of the drought. Lafayette is still a little bit abnormally dry, while Evangeline and St. Landry parishes are now in a much more bearable, moderate drought. But there are still improvements to be made, but it's, it looks great out there. While the winter months have completely erased much of the drought, we still need a little bit more rainfall. But this is still a huge milestone from where we were, and we will continue to improve in the days, weeks, and months ahead. If you want to see your good question answered on the air, pull out that smartphone and scan the QR code you're seeing on your screen. It'll send you right over to my email where you can send your questions and I'll answer them right here on News 15. I'm Storm Track 15 and meteorologist Michael Crowley. I look forward to those good questions.